My name is Velarde with South Palm. Welcome to, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I thank you so much for joining me in this reading. This is my second time recording this reading because the first time my mic wasn't on. <laughs> so I pray that the spirit and the ancestors will give us the same message. Okay, today is Halloween, also known the Day of the Dead, and Hallow's Eve. So if anyone knows, the veil to the other side is thin. So we could talk to our ancestors and do certain rituals to venerate our ancestors, and the veil would be pretty thin. And it is Scorpio season, and Scorpio rules the underworld. All right, y'all. So let's see what the ancestors and the Agungu, what messages they have for us for today on this special day where the veil is at the thinnest. Also, happy full moon, happy blue moon. This is the second full moon of the month. The last time this happened, I think it was probably 10, 10 years ago or so, or a little bit more than 10 years. So it was a very, very powerful, powerful day. The energy is very strong. The moon is in Taurus, which is my sign. So my energy has been through the roof since last night. I restarted a few rituals from my ancestors, venerating them, charging my crystals, and whatnot. Tonight I'll be taking a spiritual bath and then charging some moon water and doing some candle magic. If you guys want me to do videos on certain stuff like that, let me know and I can show you. Just leave a comment down below. Greater Gungun and ancestors, those who vibrate the highest level of love and compassion, please show us the messages you carry high for us. I thank you so much. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe all. Thank you, ancestors. Okay, so we have the mother of our bloodline, a mother side of our bloodline coming through. They want us to work on balancing our foundation. They want us to, to master us healing those things that are of, of the past, okay? And they want us to work with them in order to do those such things. They really want us to tap in more, strengthen our foundation through meditation and through relieving our lives of stress. If we do those things, working with them, mastering our mind, body, and spirit, we will be victorious in the things that we want, the things we want to manifest in this life and also healing in this life. We have an opportunity to, to have a new spiritual um, relationship with the ancestors if we start venerating them talking to them praying to them giving them offerings lighting candles for them we have an opportunity to have a new relationship with them like i said today is the the veil is at its thinnest today and once we talk to them light a candle that that relationship could be sparked sparked easily because the veil is pretty thin to that side to that dimension so if you guys have been thinking about it, if you, that has been on your mind, if you've been thinking about a certain ancestor, smelling their perfume or their cologne, having dreams about them, or thoughts, hearing their favorite songs or thoughts about them, that's a sign right there from the universe that they're thinking about you from the other side and they want a relationship with you and want, want you to venerate them and want you to honor them. Okay, right now we're being protective of that. We're blocking that blessing. We're blocking the relationship due to, you know, certain things that we 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 think about you know it can't be religion that that holds us back you know certain i can't think of the word but certain um practices that we have right now you know they say those type of things are wrong but don't have that you know that mindset hold you back because they're willing and they're open to bless you okay they want to help you on this side because there's a lot of healing that the bloodline needs to do okay we need not waver in our mind about it we need to restore peace to our bloodline restore peace to our dna like i said there's a lot of healing that needs to take place and it's good if we do work with our ancestors with that okay you on this side them on the other side it makes it mighty 
okay so don't be blind to the fact like oh that stuff don't is not real that stuff don't exist it's real bruh it's real so don't be afraid of it you have the calling for it and they're telling you right now it's the truth okay so it's not the devil there's nothing evil about it okay and those certain toxic the certain thoughts are, are very toxic okay those those ways of thinking are pretty toxic so we got to get that out of that mindset that that's not right that's evil it's not good for us because the bloodline needs it your dna needs it okay or the four of pentacles we gotta let go of that mindset we gotta let go of that thought that thought process because the ancestors are really calling for a relationship with you they really want that Pentacles. Yes, the binary pentacles came up in the last reading. So there's a lot of things that they want to bless you with. There's a lot of things they want to bless you with financially, spiritually, you know, mentally. There's a, there's a lot of things they want to give you. They want they want you to gain on so many ways. They want to give you abundance, but they're unable to work with you and help you because the lines of communication are closed. Okay, spirit, so I'm going to pull one more card. A lot of us are feeling defeated. A lot of us are feeling, you know, that this life here is not good for us. But we're feeling defeated and we're not, and we're feeling defeated, we're not feeling accomplished in this life. It's because we're not doing the things we're supposed to do spiritually with our ancestors. Okay? They want to give us the, the world, the universe card. They want to give us the world. They want us to go to the next cycle and not be afraid to go to the next cycle in life, okay? They want us to fly high. They want us to be able to have all our elements in balance, okay? They want to work with the three wands. They want they want your blessings to come in. They want your blessings to come in. They, they want to give it to you. Two of cups again, okay, pulled in the last reading. They want to work with you. They love you so much. They want to partner up with you, work with you in this, in this lifetime. So it not only heals what, you're go what you've gone through in this lifetime, but also, again, your bloodline, your DNA. They want you to help shift it so you won't go through the things that you went through I'm sorry, that they went through in their lifetime and your kids and so on and so on. We have to break these generational curses. But in order to do so, we got to get the help of our ancestors, venerating them and seeing what they need us to do from the other side. Now, if any of y'all have ancestor altars, let me know. But it'll really help to get one, okay? And if you guys need to help on how to do that, just send me a, a message. Either comment down below or send me an email and I can help you with that, okay? I am an EFA priestess. I am initiated. So that is my lifestyle. So I can help you guys with that, all right? Okay, Greater Gungun and Ancestors, please show us any additional messages you have for us. I thank you so much. Please show us any additional messages you have for us. Thank you so much. I share. I share. I share. Gold, divine intervention. I don't know if you guys could see that with my light. Okay, it says, God sends miracles to answer your sincere prayers. So a lot of us has been asking God, what can I do? How can I change my life? What can I do? So this message right here lets you know, work with your ancestors. This is how you could go to the next step. Work with your ancestors, y'all. A lot of y'all just don't know how mighty it is working with your ancestors it's just like having having someone on the other side because it shows you the secrets and the keys that you need to unlock in order to advance in this lifetime you got to open it up you got to open up that relationship open up that portal for them to come through so that they can tell you what you need to know i'm not gonna force you you know what i'm saying they're just gonna lightly give you whispers that they want to talk to you they want they want you to venerate them they're not going to force you. So if you got those messages from them here and there, listen to it. And don't be afraid because of what you've been taught. Take that leap of faith. And this message is letting you know that it's okay. And the Most High is telling you, it's okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Not only you need it, but your bloodline needs it. 
Okay, we have the fox here. This is a new deck for me, so let's see what the fox represents. When I am not your job, I am your red flag for something devious going on. Look around your circle in your hall. I might be planning your fall. I am a master of manipulation. I'm going to fool you all. Okay, so this, this is letting us know that a lot of us are gonna be are gonna need protection from our ancestors. So some things that are coming up that you know may harm us or may throw us off off guard, may make us go down the rabbit hole. You know we're gonna have some suffering that's coming to us. But if we venerate our ancestors and talk to them and have us protected, they could keep us from that. Okay. Don't be fooled or manipulated by certain religions, a certain way of thinking that this is wrong to venerate your ancestors, okay? Don't be fooled by that. This is the sign that we need to go ahead and have a relationship with them, okay? Because they can't protect us from certain things that may come. They can block that shit, okay? A lot of us are having, you know, certain... certain um spells and witchcraft done against us we don't even know about it just because you don't know about it or don't believe in it doesn't mean it's not happening you know a lot of people a lot of us are waking up and some people are not waking up for the good some of us are waking up and, and using their powers for for bad you know so we got to protect ourselves from that there's a lot of jealous and shysty people out here in the world okay ancestors please give us another message please give us an additional message what you have for us ancestors. I thank you so much. Ashe. 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 I could feel them. I could see them wanting to. I see them reaching out. They want that relationship with you. You're not here by chance. You're not watching this video by chance. Time is fluid. So whether you watch this video today on the 34th or two, three weeks or two months from now, there's a reason why you're seeing this message. And they really want you to take heed and listen. And to start, even if it's a little bit, lighting a candle and talking to them, praying to them, lighting ancestor money for them. Okay, this is the dove, initiate and trust. Initiate the relationship. Trust that it's going to benefit you. You and your bloodline. Okay, let's go into the book and see what the book says. This is another new deck for me. Okay. The dove represents the seeker as the archetype principle of the innocent initiate who responds to the call to enter the mysteries or to request information or advice. The dove is brave and courageous in the search for wisdom and truth and learns to to trust his or her own inner knowing when engaging not only with the oracle but also with the powerful transformational forces encountered on this path. The dove carries an olive branch as a sacred offering so that the initiate or seeker can honor each of the natural who serve as their allies and guides in life in our divine journeys with the oracle. The olive branch is humbly offered with a request for permission to enter into the relationship of mysteries teaching by each archetype that appears in the reading. The dove is a bridge between the present world of humanity and the ancient past. For most people, the dove automatically evokes some kind of spiritual connection as the olive branch invokes peace and reverence. Okay, so you're called to be Place an innocent, to place innocence, trust, and purity and new beginnings. Receive this guidance that is being offered to you. You must be willing to empty out your old programming and beliefs as well as your intellectual skepticism. Something new is coming. It might be time for you to begin again, in other words, to become like a small child or a babe in the womb open to new information. This is also a time when the outer, other, outer teacher may appear to guide you on your path. You may find yourself drawn to new teachings or new paths, including mystery schools. Now is the moment to respond fearlessly to what the inner call is. Ashe. So this sums up the whole reading, guys. Okay? It's time to 
to let go the old programming like I was saying earlier you know the old teachings the old way of teaching the old religious ways of teaching to let those things go and open up a new 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 path to start over again to initiate that to initiate the relationship with our ancestors to learn more from them from the other side guys okay you see that full moon right there this is a beautiful card this is the anubis oracle okay now guys like i said before it can be scary in the beginning if this is how this is how this is not how you grew up if this hasn't been taught to you but this is a message to telling you to initiate and to start the relationship if you guys don't have an ancestor altar if you guys haven't even given an ancestor offering before you guys could email me or send me a comment down below and i could give you guys some help okay but this saying is doing it do it be brave this is the time this is a chance for you to to open up a whole other level in life all right Again, my name is Velarde. I was your reader for South Palm. I appreciate you guys checking out this, this reading. And I see you guys later. Ashe.